All right, so let's let's get the butt in gear. Go ahead and find a wall. You're gonna do this before a round. Get into your golf posture by hinging from your hips. That's step number one. I'm seeing a ton of players, a ton of my campers, initiating the posture with the knees. All right, and that shuts off the butt right out of the gate. All right, when you initiate with the knees, you're dead. All right, you're essentially shutting off your core and your butt. So the first step to really engage in the butt and using it in the golf swing is to make sure that you hinge from your hip joints. It's a hip hinge. All right, so go ahead and hip hinge. Make sure your lower back is soft, not arched. Give yourself a little room away from the wall. Go ahead and cross your arms. All right, from here, you're going to sit deep into the wall. All right, and as you sit deep, you can see what your torso is doing. It's moving down. All right, that's helping us stay in our golf posture. Now you're going to go ahead and fingerprint your butt on the wall. All right, fingerprint your butt, and then stand tall. All right, that's step number one. Hip hinge, go deep, roll it, stand tall. All right, then your butt's going to come off. All right, so step number one, we're going to make sure we hinge from our hip joints. So take your hands like this. And place them on your hip joints and hinge yourself. Make sure your lower back is soft. Make sure you have a little room back here to sit into. Cross your arms and go ahead and sit deep. And this is going to get your torso to go down. So that's just forward bend. Now you're going to roll your bottom on the wall, your lead butt on the wall, keeping your chest back. And then you're going to stand tall. All right, making sure that heel is away. All right, your butt will come off the wall in the end. So you're going to hinge yourself. Give yourself a little bit of room away from the wall. All right, you're gonna turn in deep, stay deep, roll your lead side on the wall, keep your chest back, and then stand tall. All right, so hinge yourself, sit deep, roll your bottom, keep your chest back, and then stand tall. Hinge, sit deep, roll your lead butt, keep your chest back, stand tall. So where I see players go off with this when they practice is that they sit deep and then when they roll, they roll everything, including their torso. So you can see my torso is going ahead, all right? You are gonna pull it really badly if you do that or weak right it or slice it depending on the club face. So instead, you really wanna feel like you're sitting deep and as you roll, you're gonna roll the lead butt on the wall but keep your chest back. All right, so that's the, the separation, that's the X factor. All right, we're keeping our chest back and then standing tall, and that will help us greatly with our sequence. All right, now, the next step is to add the, the big bang here, which is to get the butt, the butt rolling fast. All right, so the butt's gonna be rolling fast, but you're not gonna go fast with the arms, all right? You're gonna delay the strike, that's really important. All right, so when you start getting the butt rolling, all right, so before I even get to the top, I'm already rolling the butt. All right, so I'm sitting deep and then rolling the butt. You can even start using your hands here. I kind of like that. Rolling the butt fast. What you're not going to do is try to hit it fast because the butt's rolling fast. All right, the reason why you're rolling your butt fast is to create the, the dynamic sequence, the loading of the club getting the club head to be behind the hands by initiating the transfer with your lower body. And this also helps you to stay in your posture as long as you keep your chest down and behind the ball feeling, not that way. All right, so if you roll your butt and your torso at the same time, you're dead. All right, so let me know if that all makes sense. Let's go ahead and hit some balls now.